Okay, let's talk about using an affiliate link to sell books on your website. So one way that you can make money as a writer, author, or um, or even just trying to make some extra money on your blog is by using affiliate links to books that you have written or like or recommend or all those types of things and then posting them on your website. One thing to note, you may not email affiliate links through an email so make sure that you do not try and email out affiliate links that's against the affiliate program but you can list them on your blog or other places so the first thing that you have to do is go to affiliate dash program let me see if I can make this full size so we can see the whole link here affiliate dash program dot amazon dot com or just Google Amazon Affiliate Program and it will um, take you to the page and you go in there and then I'm already logged in with my stuff and it's showing me the graphs and everything but you can go in and if you're brand new to the program it'll walk you through how to set up your account so that's the first thing you're going to do so go to affiliate-program.amazon.com and set up your account pause this video and then come back when you're done with that Okay, so you've set up your account. The next thing you're going to do is head over to the Amazon page to what you want to um, to use your affiliate link for. You can do a couple of things here. Now, once you have, once you're logged in and you have an affiliate account, when you're in Amazon, you're going to see this bar up here. Okay, they've done things to make it easier for you to do this. Like you can now go directly to Twitter and it will tweet out you can go to I'm not going to do that today because we're not officially launched yet but I could tweet that I could share it on Facebook or um, there's other fun things that you can do native shopping ads um, I'm not going to get into all of that this is the most important thing this is how you get your affiliate link so you just it automatically brings up a short link which is really easy for you to add to tweets you can do one with the image, which if you're posting it on your blog is a good way to do it. So you can choose whether, and this is just cool because it gives you the code and you can grab the image and it's already accessed to your, um, uh, it already has your affiliate link embedded in it. So you just embed this in your blog post. It has the image and all of that. Or you can get text plus image, which shows this little fun thing. So you can put it in your sidebar or other places where you're posting this book on your blog. So that's how you grab the affiliate link. You can do that for any book out there. Check this out, y'all. We haven't even launched them already. Number one new release in parenting teenagers. Um, so that's just a very easy way for you to be able to share a book on your website or on social media now with an affiliate link just don't do it through email and then whenever somebody purchases whenever somebody comes through your link and they go into Amazon you'll earn a small percentage the price does not change you do need to disclose though in your blogs if you're using Amazon affiliate links that's um, part of the not only the program requirement but also um, uh, the regulations for bloggers and for online marketing and all that kind of stuff so make sure that you have disclosed that you do use uh, Amazon affiliate links in your post and while it does not change the price for anyone using your link it gives you a tiny 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 cut of the pie um, as a thank you for sending people to that product so the, you know that's one thing that people want to know is it changed the price for anybody or is anything like that but no the answer is the price stays exactly the same there will be no differences if they just went to Amazon on their own and looked up the book but this way you are um, directing them through a link and Amazon will give you a very small percentage back um, on average I don't use a whole uh, I, I, I promote all of my books on my website through an affiliate link uh, you can do that and it's the smart thing to do so whenever you're talking about a book if you have your books on uh, posted on your website which you better um, if you're a, a contributor to an anthology you should be using the affiliate link and all of those types of things and putting it on your on your website and you know um, Amazon pays me out nothing huge but I earn about a tank of gas every month so um, Amazon affiliate links is something that I probably could do a lot more with if I took the time to really go through and but if you're a book blogger or you blog about books regularly you really should have an affiliate link set up and you don't have to just use it for um, 
you can use an affiliate link to anything. Say you're writing a blog post about um, women's clothes, clothing, a clothing line or something that you found on Amazon. You or you want to share these cute, adorable dinosaur pajamas with your mom crowd or whatever. You can say, look at these. These are so cute. My son loves dinosaurs. Oh, look, Amazon World, uh, not Amazon, um, Jurassic World 2 just came out. We're definitely getting these. Boom, grab the text, link to the image. So you can, if you don't want to use this teeny tiny little image on something, which you can usually do, is right click and save as and download the whole image and then you upload that to your blog and make sure it's linked to the custom URL. So there you go.